Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative with another Divi tutorial. This week I'm showing you how to make a carousel of related blog posts. So basically when someone is reading one of your blog posts, they get to the end and you may want to show, you know, related posts to keep them on the site longer and just, yeah, to keep them engaged. And instead of just showing like one, two or three or whatever, now you can have a carousel and you can have as many as you want and not take up a whole lot of space. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's take a look. So as always, you can click the link in the description to come over to our written blog post if you're watching this on YouTube. So here we go. Um, there's a couple prerequisites that I'll just talk about quickly. Now you, you would have to have some blog posts, um, more than maybe three or four, just to make this even work. Um, pretty obvious, but also have some categories. Um, when we say related posts, we're not just talking about latest posts, right? It's that's, that's different. If you wanted to show latest posts, you can do that almost following the same tutorial, like very similar. There will just be, um, let's see, how will that work? There'll be one step differently because you won't be doing the current category. Because we are going to be showing related posts, we're going to be assigning a category. So like if I'm viewing a category, a post that's in one category, it's going to show me posts in that same one so that they're related and they feel relevant to what I'm actually looking at it. And next, make sure that you have a theme builder template set up. Basically, this is a dynamic template that will display, you know, your title and your um, blog content and all that. And then at the bottom is where we will add uh, the blog modules and stuff to uh, show the related posts. Okay, so you you will be working actually in uh, the template for the theme builder. Okay, next is we talked about making a carousel and we have to use, you know, some solution for that. And of course we have the solution. It's our Divi Carousel Maker plugin. Basically it takes regular modules and creates a carousel from those modules. So it's kind of like unique and innovative, you might say. And it's, yeah, it's available in our membership if you have our membership or you can buy the standalone plugin. All right, so those are the prerequisites, right? You know, blog posts, categories, your template, and the plugin. So um, we'll get started with the main tutorial. Very simple, just add the blog module to your layout. Um, one of the main things that you'll need to do for the first step, as you can see in this screenshot, set the layout to full width. And um, that's not something you probably normally do, but it's something that you need to do for this tutorial. So I'll just uh, walk through that. I just grab a template here in a random site here, and we're gonna see what we can do. I have some random template from the Divi you know, whatever their designs that they release. So it, that's not even important, like any of this. So I'm just using a random one. Here you can see like you may also like, it's kind of that kind of thing here. We're doing that, but look, there's only three. What if, you know, these three don't interest me? Well, now you can make them into a carousel, right? Uh, I might just leave it there. I don't know. But anyway, this is where I will build it. Maybe I'll move them when I'm done. So um, we are going to add a module, like I said, so let me, uh... all right. And of course, I don't know what is happening, but it's not letting me do that. But I will just switch to wireframe because it was being, being stubborn. Okay, all right. So what I was saying is go to the design tab, layout, and make sure it's on full width. It is by default. Next. Um, and you can follow along here at least steps if you want. We're going to set the post count to one. Again, you may be wondering why would we do that? Why would we only want it one? And just trust me, it'll make more sense later. So we're only showing one post per blog module and then we're going to duplicate the module, okay? All right, select the current category. And this again is, like I said, if, if we're showing related posts. If you just wanted latest posts, you don't want to need to do this, okay? So right here, current category, that's it, right? So now that's selected, great. Next step, see these are, these are very quick steps. Now we're going to duplicate that module 
as many times as we want there to be posts in the, you know, in the in the carousel. So if I have only this one showing, I you would want you so we're gonna have it showing like this one two three right. So we're going to want to have at least four right to even make it a carousel where they you know more than three. Um, let's do like uh, six. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five. Okay. <laughs> Did I do it? Two, three, four, five. And I need another one. I think I messed up on that last one. Okay. Now all of these are showing one blog post, but it's like the latest one, and it's only um, it's the same one in all of them. So we don't want that. So to to fix that, now we go to the next step. The offset number. So the offset number allows us to skip one. So what you will do, in fact, I have it written here. Um, blog module one, you would have the post offset number to zero. Blog number two, you would have it set to one. For the blog three, you would have it set to two, and it keeps going like that. So I'll just show you. This one will keep it zero. This one, I will open and change the post offset number to one. Okay. And then basically, I'll keep doing that as I go down through. So I will set this one to two. All right, and number six, I am setting to five <laughs> because now it's skipping five of them. That's how it works. It like skips that number that I entered there. All right, now you may wonder what's going on here. We have six individual blog modules in this like column. Well, the way our plugin works, it takes individual modules and each module is now going to be, think of it as a slide in the carousel. So each module will be a slide. All right, um, just so you can follow the next last step actually is enabling this carousel. Now I already have the Divi Carousel Maker plugin installed. Basically, I need to have these items in a separate row. So I just duplicated this row and now I'm going to just clean up a little bit here. So um, basically, I don't want this here and I don't want this. I'll, I'll keep that there for now. Now this is its separate column. That's kind of important because now I'm going to open the, the green row settings, then go into this single column and look at that. There's this new tab, the fourth tab says carousel. Now here's some instructions about, you know, there's, um, now here it talks about not being visual build, builder compatible um, after version 5.0 of Divi, we hope that it will be. So here we go. This is the main setting that will make this column into a carousel. So when I do that, the default is like number of columns is three. It's going to kind of look like that. All kind of settings down through here, general settings, scroll settings, navigation buttons, controls, design settings, hover settings, responsive settings, miscellaneous settings, right? Lots and lots of settings. But for us in this tutorial, it's not really about how to use the carousel maker. It's about, you know, showing related posts in a carousel. So you can check documentation and other videos for that. But basically this is enabled now. So I'm going to save. Remember, this is our template. Now I'm going to go and view one of uh, a random blog post. Okay, hopefully this, hopefully the blog, blog post I choose, hopefully the post I choose has some um, related posts in it, right? Uh, let's see, I guess I'll just, um, I guess I'll choose this one. Let's see what we got here. Hopefully I have some categories. Yeah, cats <laughs> category. Let's see. All right, here it is. So here was that one that was, you know, there before and check it out. Here is the carousel. <laughs> yeah, it looks like some of these are not now this is showing because I have too many um, modules. There's there's more there's more modules in my template here than there are related posts. So be careful with that. So what I could do, just to make sure, like maybe I only want it to be four. I could um, I could get rid of some. Why? Of course, when I'm trying to record, it's doing this glitch. So I I could come in here and just like, you know, now I have four, which is the bare minimum. 
All right, and I would want to, I forgot that, I would want to <laughs> disable the pagination. That would be a pretty important step. Make sure that under elements, I think, yeah. Show pagination, that should be all for all of these. And there's so many settings, like changing these icons and, and borders and where you put the controls and numbers for the controls or images or where put these arrows at the top or the left or the bottom and designing each of these slides have hover effects and all kind of like those scroll effects and all that stuff. Like, I think there's like over 400 settings, but you get the idea. This is what we wanted to achieve today in this tutorial, and I would say that we've achieved it. So again, you may also like some kind of heading like that related posts. You know, I'm done, I'm done viewing my very informative blog post here. That's blank. Um, but you come down here and it'll say like, hey, check out these other posts in the same category. You could be that specific and say that. Um, but anyway, all right, so that's the setup. Obviously, there could be a learning curve with, you know, the Carousel Maker plugin, um, but setting up the blog so that it's compatible with that, I think was pretty easy. Hopefully that went well for you. And if you need any help with the Carousel Maker, um, you can always refer to the documentation and videos or, or ask our support for help. All right, we hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you all in our next video.